<laughs> Most likely to have your back when the shit hits the fan, Katrina. Katrina. You know, I would say Sam Hewen, but he likes to stand back and let me go off <laughs> when the steam starts coming out of my ears. I trust all of them, they would all have my back. You know what? Izzy, she has the coolest stories ever. She'd be really clutch in like a dire situation. I feel like everyone, we're all very supportive of each other. Specifically, Izzy. I'm just gonna say Rollo. That dog's always there, it's all good. The best cook. The best cook. The best cook. Ooh. Would be... Anybody but me. Definitely not Charles. I'm like a microwave beans kind of guy. I'm the worst. I'm the best at ordering pizza. Does that count? If it's reheating Deliveroo, then probably Richard Rankin. What did you say? But I do know that Izzy is a good cook, so I'm going to say Izzy. Is it cheating if I say myself? <laughs> I think me. <laughs> oh, look, everyone's going to fight over this, but I'm going to say me. Since? When? <laughs> well, I haven't yet to prove that. Sam reckons he started cooking in the last couple of years. I don't know what he what he makes, but I... I feel like I could do a pretty mean spaghetti bolognese. Katrina's a great cook. Probably Katrina. <sighs> Can I say me? Pending. Who is most likely to cry at a soppy movie? I don't know. Could be any one of us. <laughs> Not Sam Hewen. <laughs> Let's say Sam. I don't think I've ever watched a soppy movie with any of them. Katrina did admit to crying to a Mary-Kate and Ashley movie. <laughs> Katrina <laughs> takes a biscuit. I'm going to say John Bell. <laughs> He's got a big heart on him, and uh, I think he would definitely well up. Charles. I'm going to say Charles. I have to say Charles. Me because I know for a fact that he cries like a baby at most films. <laughs> I'm so guilty of that. He's in touch with his emotional side. So emotional. Sad movies really get him. Like, even ones that aren't sad. Random movies. I'll be like, why are you crying? You know when you're on a plane and I think maybe the lack of oxygen just makes you a little more teary? I think it has something to do with altitude. It just takes it out of you. You just want to cry on an airplane. I don't know why. The best dancer got to be John Bell. Oh. That would have to be hands down John Bell. Uh, have you not seen his TikTok? <laughs> <laughs> Probably so. She did ballet. I'm just gonna take that one for myself. I'll say me. <laughs> Baby cat. <laughs> I haven't seen anyone else dance though, so yeah. None of us can dance. <laughs> um, Best dance would have to be Joey. Joey. No, I'm gonna say me. He grew up doing Billy Elliot. Did he really? I didn't know that. Yeah, a little fact for you. <laughs> The best dresser. <gasps> best dresser is hard. I mean, we've got, we've got a lot of good dresses on this show. That would have to be hands down John Bell. Might have to be the best dresser, yeah. Either John or Izzy. I'll give it to them both. They can share the award. Oh, I think John's going to be really mad at me, but I think I have to say Joey. <laughs> I think I have to say Joey. Sorry, John. Sorry. <laughs> oh, Joey. He, he's, yeah, he's, he's really well dressed. He has some cool fashion. He's got the drip. We'll give that to Katrina. You know, model for all those years. She's got, she's got the style. Katrina. It's gotta be Katrina. Fashion icon. Thank you. Well, that depends because um, obviously, you know, there's fashion and then there's fashion. And um, I, I, I personally think um, Jamie Fraser is the best dressed. I mean, have you seen his leather coat? Most likely to crack a joke. Um... Me. Richard is the most likely to crack a really bad joke while we're filming. Probably Richard. They're not very funny, they're very, like, dad jokes. Most likely to crack a joke would be Stephen Cree, who plays Oldie and Murray. I think mean, probably John Bell, he's great. Definitely John. Like, every scene that I do with him, I'm just hysterically laughing to the point, which is, like, probably really annoying. I'd say Sam. He likes to keep the mood light and fun. Katrina has the most contagious laugh, so once Katrina's set off, that it doesn't matter what the joke is, how it started, where it's going, that's it. Everyone's crippled then. Most likely to know other lines by heart. Hopefully we will all know our lines, because we're all professionals. Me? I try to always know mine. I think Joey is always the most likely to know his lines. I think that's because he's got, like, a theatre background. <laughs> um, no one? Definitely not me. Ooh. I mean, everybody. I feel like everyone's been really good. I'm going to say Izzy. Izzy's very prepared. I'm going to say Charles for that one. I would say Sophie. Sophie's very diligent. Obviously. I don't know if anyone is more likely to sneak a nap in on set. Oh, sneaking a nap would be me. It used to be Tobias. Me? <laughs> Definitely Sam or Richard. Apparently I'm the only one that can nap. I don't know if Sam does, but um, Sophie can. 
I do enjoy a little lunchtime nap, yes. Katrina and I can't really do that in a corset or in the wigs. I tried it once and you come out and your wig's just kind of hanging off. She basically comes out of her trailer like a zombie. I don't know, me? I love my naps. Sneaking a nap. I'm going to say John. John. John Bell. John Bell. That man can fall asleep faster than most people I know. <laughs> this is a shady question. Oh, well, that would be Sophie Skelton. Definitely be Sophie. Five days later, you might get a reply. Oh, Richard. Me? <laughs> he does not reply. But actually, I'm terrible, so... 100% Charles. I think it's because he's got two phones. He's got his, like, Canadian phone and his UK phone. That's what I tell myself anyway. I'm so guilty of that. I just took on my phone. I, I do go on my phone. That, that's totally a lie. I can't say. Them all. I'm always trying to get them to get out for drinks and stuff, and they always leave me on red. I'm going to say all of them. <laughs> Who would most likely to win a trivia night? I mean, Sam does know quite a lot. I don't know. So, yeah, I mean, Sam's pretty, yeah, he knows. Sophie's pretty, I'd say between one of those two, one of the gingers. It's probably a toss up, but I, I'm going to give it to Katrina. She's, she's pretty, she's pretty well read. Probably Katrina. Katrina? Maybe David Barry, because he's very worldly. Hugh Ross, who plays Archbug, is the most likely to win a trivia night. That man is wise, wise beyond his years. I'm going to say Izzy again. I'll say Izzy. The perfect birthday present would probably come from, to be honest, myself and Katrina, we've decided not to give each other presents because it's just been so many years now. We just buy each other dinner and go for a drink. So that's probably the best one. JB. John and Joey would be very good at this. And I also think Katrina would do a good birthday present, actually. I think all of them would be good at birthdays. Probably Katrina. Kat. I think Kat just knows how to give the, the perfect present. Kat, for sure. Sophie Skelton would give the best birthday present. Sophie. I am actually the gift giver, so I am going to give myself that one. I am the Santa Claus of the set. 